Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and build this sales funnel inside of ClickFunnels. Now, this type of sales funnel is what I would consider a classic sales funnel, in that it's your classic upsells, downsells, etc. There's not much fancy stuff going on. There's no email marketing happening within this funnel. There's no webinars, no product launch funnels, and it's basically just an order flow. So somebody comes to our offer here, which is a free plus shipping book offer where they get the book for free, but they got to pay $7 shipping and handling. We're going to go ahead and offer an order bump, which is an audio version and explainer video for $37. Then we'll go into our core offer, which is the sales funnel training vault, which is $297. If they say yes to this, they're going to receive the offer for sales funnel support at $47 a month. Mm -hmm. They say yes or no to this, they're going to arrive on the thank you page. I don't have a no here, but just believe me, yes or no equals thank you page. Now coming back to our core offer, if they say no to this $297 price tag, we're going to offer a down sell where we're gonna split the payments up into three monthly payments of $117. And hopefully they'll say yes, but whether they say yes or no, they'll still be offered the sales funnel support and then they'll go through the rest of our funnel. So that's what we're gonna build inside of ClickFunnels in this video. Now, I'm not gonna go into the nitty gritty details of setting up the pages, designing the pages, or telling you what copy goes where or any of that stuff. That goes well beyond the scope of this video. I'm showing you how to set up the flow and if you want more information on all that other stuff, I have a course on it. And also ClickFunnels wants you to be successful with their tool. So if you go to support.clickfunnels.com, they have a ton of articles and content on how to use their page builder, how to connect it to things, how to add videos, how to format everything. They have tons and tons of stuff because they want you to be successful as well. I mean, look at this. This is an incredibly in-depth support section. So if you're struggling with actually designing and building the pages, come here. Or of course, you can take my course. But by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to set up something that flows like this. So come into ClickFunnels and we're gonna do add new funnel and we're going to sell a product here. And we're just gonna say this is a sales funnel and this is example funnel. I'm gonna go ahead and build it. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this squeeze page, okay? And I'm gonna delete the sales page. And I know what you're thinking, don't we need a sales page to try and sell our initial offer? And you don't. You can use your order form as your sales page, which is what I recommend doing anyway, unless you have a reason to have a separate order form. But in this particular case, we wanna be able to take money right on our sales page. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and pick an example real quick. So select template, or I'm gonna pick a template real quick. Select it. And first things, I'm gonna add my products. So hit products, add product, and this is my book. I'm going to connect to Stripe, and again, if you need help connecting to a payment processor, they got instructions in here. I've already set up Stripe. So amount, $7, and I have my price override, or price display override. So it's free plus $7 shipping and handling. And you'll see what this looks like in just a minute. And this is not a bump, it's a one-time payment. And this is a book, so I'll just put book in the product description, hit create product. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my order bump. So I'm just gonna call it order bump. You'd obviously call it like the name of the order bump or the bonus or whatever, something that makes sense. Go ahead, billing integration, this was $37. And the bump option, we wanna tick this box. It's one time for product description. I'm gonna call it the same thing as the name, hit create product. All right, now I'm gonna to come to overview and I'm going to be editing my page. So let's edit our page. And again, you would design this to look however you want and however would make sense to your business and your offer. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this whole section real quick. And I'll add a new row and, cause I wanna add a two-step form because I need to accept their address. So order two-step, add to page. 
So we got shipping, where we're going to ship the book, and then we have our billing info. So if I select on this box, it opens up this options panel, and it allows us to make the changes we want to make. And let me actually drag it over here so I can zoom in when I go to post edit, and everything will be closer. Okay, so click this, pops this up. Now we want to go ahead and preview steps. We want to preview step number two. So it moves us over to this section here. And what we're looking at now is the order bump area. So if you see edit step number two, and it says hide step number two settings, we want to hit that and hit show step number two settings. Now we can go in here and we can change the various fields inside of step two, in particular our bump information. So we'll just call this headline audio version. And you see the headline is the green text in this yellow shaded area. And then we have our OTO headline, which is one time offer and it's red and underlined. And then we have our OTO text. So we could write in some excellent copy here to try and sell our order bump. And for the sake of this example, I am happy with this page. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna hit exit. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go ahead and add in our upsell or our one-time offer for the sales funnel training vault. So come back over here and I want to add a new step. And this is called the sales funnel training vault. Of course, you would name it whatever makes sense and what you're trying to sell. I don't know if I need to say that, but you never know who's watching these videos. So I'm trying to be as descriptive as humanly possible. Now let me go ahead and drag this to the right area. I want it right after the order form. Okay. And we need to select the appropriate page option. So this is a sales page and it's a one click upsell or OTO page. So select this. It's critically important that you select the correct page settings or your funnel is not going to work correctly. So you can go ahead and select one of their templates or build your own. Just for the sake of this example, I'm going to use one of their templates. And first things first, going to go ahead and add my product here. So products, add product. And this is the, the sales funnel training vault. I'm using Stripe. Amount $297. And this is not an order bump. And it's a one-time payment. Go ahead, paste it in product description, create product. There we go. Now I'd come back over here to my page and I can edit my page. I'm not gonna make any changes, but I wanna point something out to you. So we have our yes button, which is a one click upsell button. So if somebody clicks yes here or clicks this button here, they're gonna automatically be charged the $297. And the reason it works like that is because of this functionality over here. We have button action, which is URL action, and URL slash action is pound sign or hashtag yes hyphen link. So this is the yes link, the I accept your offer, charge me $297 link option. Now if I delete this out of here and hit the pound sign, you see there's several other options. So there's yes link and then there's no link. So I'll show you the no link in just a second, but this button here is our yes link. So leave it like that. And if you're using their templates, uh, they have a yes link and a no link already assigned. But if you start making your own pages and templates, you need to make sure you have both yes and no link. And you wanna test out every single scenario and situation to make sure everything's working correctly. But scrolling on down here, we have the no link area. So no thank you, continue to checkout page. And if you click it, you see that this is the no link. So we have both a yes and a no, so we're good to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and exit. All right, coming back to our blueprint here. So we just created our upsell or one-time offer. Now let's go ahead and set up our downsell. So if they say no to the one-time payment for the sales funnel training vault, I want to offer them a payment plan. So we're gonna do add new step and sales funnel vault payment plan. Create funnel step and we wanna drag it to the correct area. So this comes right after that OTO or one-time offer or upsell page. 
and we need to select the correct page type for this step as well. And this is the one click down sell option. So you have to select these correctly or your funnel will not function like you think it should. So this is a down sell. So one click down sell and it works very similarly to the upsell pages, same templates, same yes link, same no link, etc. with one unique twist. And that twist is that the only way somebody's going to see this offer right here is if they say no to the initial offer, the one-time offer, the upsell. So if they say no, they'll see this. If they say yes, they're gonna come straight across to the next one-time offer or upsell. So I'll go over that again if you didn't follow what I just said. So we have our OTO downsell page. Let's go ahead and add our product in here. And we're gonna add our product. And this is the Vault Payment Plan. And I'm using Stripe. And now, since this is a subscription or a payment plan, you gotta do some fancy stuff. And I'm not exactly sure how it works with these other payment processors, but with Stripe, they have a tutorial on how to set it all up. Essentially, what you need to do is set up this payment plan inside of Stripe, and then ClickFunnels will pull in your payment plan and you'll be able to use it that way. So I'll link to this little tutorial down below. I'm not gonna go through it right now because they've already made a tutorial on it and there's no point in duplicating what's already in existence. So if you use Stripe, you'll need to follow this before setting up any sort of subscriptions or payment plans. So let's come back over here and this is Stripe integration, subscription and what I was talking about was that Stripe plan. So you'll select this little drop down and it'll pull in all of your payment plans that you've created within Stripe. So this is the Vault payment plan and the number of payments are three payments. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy the, the name, paste it for the description. And you also have to do a price display override, which in this case is three monthly payments of $117. Hit create product. All right, great. So that product is set for our downsell and we've come over here to overview and we've customized our page, but I've already showed you what these pages look like. Again, just make sure you have that yes link and a no link. And then the sky's the limit on how creative you wanna be with your pages. So let's come back to our blueprint. We have our initial offer, our one-time offer, our down sell if they say no to our one-time offer. And now we need to go ahead and add in our sales funnel support, one-time offer or upsell. So come back into ClickFunnels, add a new step. And this is the sales funnel support, create funnel step. Let's make sure we drag it to the right area. So this will come after the downsell page, we need to select the correct page type. So sales, and this is a one-click upsell or OTO. So click this option. We can go ahead and select their templates here. Now let's go ahead and establish our products. Add product. And this is sales funnel support. And this is Stripe. And again, for my particular example, this is a subscription. Uh, $47 a month. So I would need to go ahead and set up my payment plan inside of Stripe before moving onward. And I've already done that. So I'm good to go. So I'll come to Stripe plan and this is sales funnel support and number of monthly pa payments are infinite. Then the price display override is just $47 per, per month. Go ahead and hit create product. So that's good right here. And again, I would go ahead and set up my page, make sure you have the yes link and the no link, and we're good to go here. Now we also have our order confirmation and thank you page, and there are differences between the two, but I'm not gonna go into them right now because they don't matter. I'm just gonna delete out this order confirmation, and I'm going to wind up only using the thank you page. So I'm gonna select this, and we need to go ahead and select a template for our thank you page. So I'm just gonna select this one because why not? And there we go. We now have our funnel properly set up inside of ClickFunnels. So we have our order form right here, which is the book. 
and our order bump for the audio version. So this is the order page that people would initially land on. And then we have our sales funnel training vault. Sales funnel training vault, which is a OTO page or upsell page. And then if they say yes, they're going to skip over this downsell page and go straight to the or to the sales funnel support. So remember, if they say yes, they're going to skip. They don't see this at all because this is a downsell page. They only see this if they click no on this page. So they say yes, they come straight to our sales funnel support page. They say yes or no, they're going to arrive on our thank you page. If they say no on our OTO page, they're going to see our downsell page, which is our payment plan. So I hope that makes sense on how the funnel flows. Now all that's left to do is test this baby out and I recommend testing it a dozen different times, a dozen different ways to make sure that it's functioning like you think it should because sometimes if you name or have the wrong type of page selected here, it's not going to work and it won't work like you think it should. So you need to test out every single situation before you start sending live traffic through it. So we're going to come up to settings here and we want to turn on test mode. So let's turn that on. And we'll come on all the way down to the bottom and hit save and update settings. All right, now let's go ahead and visit our funnel. So here it is. And you see, since we're in test mode, we have some warnings up here. So warning test mode enable, warning test mode enabled. Here's your fake credit card number. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this information out real quick. And it actually pulled it in from earlier tests. So go to step two paste in my credit card number and CVC is just one, two, three expiration month. Just put it uh, past the current date that you're testing this funnel on. And you see right here, our price override. So we have our free plus $7 shipping and handling. And then you see our order bump for the audio version. You select that it automatically adds in the $37 to our total amount. Let's hit complete order. And we should be greeted with the sales funnel training vault full price. If you come up to the top here, you see the sales funnel training vault full price. So this is our page. We have our yes link. So if I clicked this link, it would charge me $297. And I would skip ahead to the sales funnel support one time offer. But I'm not going to click that link. I'm going to click no thank you because I want to test out the payment plan. And as you see right here, it says sales funnel vault payment plan. So we went to the correct page. Now, of course, if you designed your pages, you'd be able to tell the pages apart based on how they look. I have to look at the URL because I made no changes and they all look the same to me. So we have our payment plan in here. And what I want to do now is actually accept payment because I can afford the $117 three times in a row. I got money in the bank. So... Let's go ahead and hit click here to add to cart. And now we should be greeted with the sales funnel support offer. So if we come up here, we see the option for sales funnel support. So yep, we are greeted with that. And of course I want sales funnel support. So I would select yes. And you see we end here on our thank you page. So our funnel appears to be working correctly. I went here, I ordered this order bump. And then I was offered the sales funnel training vault. I said no and was offered a payment plan, which I graciously accepted. And then I was also offered sales funnel support, which I also graciously accepted. And then I landed on the thank you page. Now, of course, you'll go back through and test the other scenarios out as well. So if somebody goes straight through, so if they buy the book, buy the sales funnel training vault and buy sales funnel support, we want to make sure that they don't see this downsell offer. And if you see this downsell offer when you think you shouldn't, it's probably because you've selected the wrong page type. You got to make sure these page types are correct. Otherwise, it will not function like you think it should. The page types mean something. They're not just for looks. They, they mean something. So make sure you have the right ones. And this is the correct setup for this particular sales funnel. And below this video, I'll go ahead and include a share link so you could load in this funnel into your ClickFunnels account and start messing with it. And that way you have the, the structure in place already and you wouldn't have to worry about setting that up and it'll save you a little bit of time. So again, my name is Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing and I hope you enjoyed this video.